Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will convert expressions from radical form to rational exponents form and vice versa. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what is the importance or what is the importance in studying this kind of topic? If you know how to convert an expression in radical form to rational exponent form or from rational exponent to radical form, it will give you the, the idea or the basic knowledge on how to simplify radical expressions in the near future or kapag napunta mo na yung topic kung paano mag-simplify ng radical expressions. So let's start with this one. We have here x raised to m over n. Here, the base, our base here is x and the exponent or the rational exponent is m over n. And to convert this expression in rational exponent form, to convert this into radical form, all you need to do is to draw a radical sign or radical, a radical and your base will be placed inside and this one, your n here, will serve as the index of the radical expression we're in originally is the denominator of your rational exponent. Next, your variable m is the exponent of your radical, in which originally it came from the numerator of your rational exponent. Or, we can also express this as the quantity of nth root of x raised to m. So to read this expression, x raised to m over n is equal to the nth root, again, nth root of x raised to m, or the quantity of the nth root of x raised to m. So for you to understand well how to use this kind of expression, let's have these examples. Convert the following to radical form. Items number 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all in rational exponent form. Our target here is to convert this into radical form. So let's start with this one. First, you need to draw a radical symbol. Second, your base will serve as your radical. Again, this is your radical. The expression inside the radical. Your base will be the radical. And your denominator will go here as the index of your radical. So this is 2. And the numerator of your rational exponent, which is 1, will serve as the exponent of your radical. But in our case, guys, in the radical expression, if the index is 2, you need to make this one be invisible. So you need, hindi mo na kailangan magsulat ng 2 as your index. And same with this one, if the exponent is 1, you need to do this as invisible. So the converted form of 3 raised to 1 half in radical form is equal to the square root of 3. Ganun lang siya kasimple guys. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, where's my red marker? For item number 2, we are given here 7 raised to 3 over 4. Again, your base here is 7 and your exponent is 3 over 4. What you need to do is to write a radical expression in which your base will serve as the radical. And this one, your denominator here will be your index. And this numerator will serve as your exponent. And you can also express this as the fourth root of 7 raised to 3, in which we can simplify this. Again, guys, we can simplify this as the fourth root of yung 7 raised to 3 natin is the same as 7 times 7, which is 49 times 7. And this will give us 3, 36, 
7 times 4 is 28. Again, 7 times 4 is 28 plus 6. This will give us the answer of 34. So this is the fourth root of 343. And this is the answer for item number 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, we are given x cubed x raised to 3 over 2. What will happen is that draw a radical, radical sign. Your base will serve as the radicand x. And this is your index, which is 2. So since this is 2, you need to make this invisible. And then the exponent here, the numerator, will serve as the exponent of your radicand. And this will be the answer for item number 3. Okay? Now let's move on with item number 4. In number 4, we are asked to convert this in radical form x squared plus y squared raised to 1 half. You need to draw a radical form or radical symbol and then this is your visa. You have x squared plus y squared. Your index is 2. It will go here. Pero magiging invisible. Okay? Here, your exponent 1 will serve as the exponent of this. Pero, you need to make this invisible. So the final answer in item number 4 is none other than the square root of x squared plus y squared. And this is the final answer, guys. Ayun, guys. I hope na nakuha niyo yung way natin on how to convert expressions in exponential form or rational exponent form to radical form. In the next part of our video or examples, we are asked here to convert the following to exponential form. Again, these four different examples are in radical form. What we need to do here is to convert this into rational exponent form. So let's start with item number one. For number one, we have the square root of five. So you need to imagine how are we going to convert this. Remember that if you don't have any index here, you have your indecible 2. And since wala tayong nakikita ng exponent of 5, we have here the exponent of 1. So to convert this into exponent, rational exponent form, copy your radical, radical, and it will serve as your base. And then this one exponent is for the numerator, and your index will be the denominator of your exponent. And this is the answer for item number one. We have five raised to one half. Now let's move on with item number two. For number two, remember we have here an invisible two. So to convert this into rational exponent form, this one is equal to five AB. I'm copying your radicand to be the base and then raised by this is the numerator 5 over 2. And that's it guys. Ito na sagot natin for item number 2. Let's proceed with item number 3. We have the square root of 11x raised to the third power. For this example, to convert this, again, we have here the invisible 2. So the converted form of this is 11x enclosed by the parentheses raised to 3 over 2. And this is the answer for item number 3. Yun guys, madali na siya. Last, we have number 4. We have the cube root of 7 raised to 5. Again, we have the cube root of 7 raised to 5. And to convert this, ito lang siya. You have this one, copy your 7, and then this is your denominator, this is your numerator, this will become 5 over 3. And this is the answer for item number 4. Yeah. I hope guys na nakuha yung steps natin on how to convert expressions in rational exponent form to radical form and given yung radical form into rational exponent form. So if you have any question or this suggest a topic that you want to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So if you're new to my channel, 
don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!